Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the error called application unable to stack correctly on Microsoft Office applications. This will likely affect all of your Office applications, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint and the others. If you have any documents open currently, make sure they are saved. There is one main method to fix this, although there are a few other things to try quickly if you want. The error will appear when you try to load up the software, and it may load for a while before the error message shows up. Remember to leave a like, and feel free to subscribe if the video helps. Let's get into the methods. The first thing you could try is a simple restart on your PC. This is unlikely to help in most cases, although if you do choose to restart, then feel free to return to the video, and we'll continue on with the next possible solutions. The next thing to try is to end the task in the task manager. There's a chance that it could be running in the background and causing problems. To do this, first open the task manager. You can get there by right clicking on the taskbar at the bottom, and then by choosing task manager from the list. In here, make sure you are in the processes tab, and have a look for the software you are having problems with. If you find it, right click on it and choose end task. Try reopening the software now to see if that fixed it. If not, we'll try another way to solve it. Let's move on to the main method to fix it. This one should work, and the reason I left it until last was because it can take a while, and if the others worked, then it would save some time. To try this method, first go to the control panel. You can get there by searching for it in the search bar. In the control panel, click on programs. This is a green link. Now click on programs and features. Again, this is a green link, and it should be at the top of the window. You will now see a list of all of the programs on your PC. Find Microsoft Office from the list. It could be called something different, but for me it's called Microsoft 365 Apps for Enterprise. It should have the Microsoft Office logo. Once you've found it, right click on it and select Change or Repair. You will then need to click on Yes on the User Account Control screen. After this, a new window should open, giving you two repair options. You could try the quick repair first if you want, however the online repair will give you the best chance at fixing the problem, as it will completely reinstall the software. If you do choose the online repair, make sure you have a stable internet connection, and that you don't have a data allowance, as this will use quite a lot of your data. Choose the option you want, and then click on repair. It will then tell you about the online repair, and after reading this, click on repair again. It will then begin repairing Office, and you'll probably see a few different screens, and it will take quite a while depending on your internet speed. It took me around 10 to 15 minutes with an average connection speed. After it's completed, you just need to click on close, and then open up the Office application of your choice, and it should work. If it still doesn't work, I would recommend getting in touch with Microsoft support. And so that is how to fix the error called application unable to start correctly on Microsoft Office applications. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine, showing you 10 easy ways you can speed up your Windows 10 PC. Help support the channel by visiting the store, the link is in the description and at the end of the video. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below, and if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like, and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.